Good morning, everybody. It's Friday morning teaching. I want to make a point. I want you to start thinking above. I want you to start thinking spiritual, heavenly, new Jerusalem, new and old. I'm saying a lot of things here, different teachings. New and old is a teaching. I'm going to start there, but I'm going to go after de descend, ascend, and three ascends and one or two descends. So the greater is the one that's mentioned the most. You find truth through repetition or the word that's used the most. If there's two words used, one is used four times, one is used two times, focus in on the four and make major doctrine out of four. Do not make major doctrine out of twos, ones, and zeros. Even though we're talking about part one, part two, part three, part four, and then four through ten. We use one-tenth of our mind ability our function of our mind, one-tenth plus, that leaves nine-tenths. God said, for those that love me, when you get to heaven, if you think you're going to sit on a cloud with a golden crown and a harp and do nothing, you're mistaken. There, are, there can be as many as a fourth level and six more levels after that for a total of ten levels in your understanding now and in the future. But the point I want to make is the will, plan, and purpose of God with earth and humanity is from the spiritual, his realm, his beginning, the spirit thought it out, then the spirit moved, then the spirit spoke and created and said, light be my glory, my will, my plan, my truth become come into existence in this realm. So then he sa said to Pontius Pilate, my kingdom is not from here or hence in King James, where it uses the word hence or from here. My kingdom is from the spiritual world or realm above, the invisible, the unseen. The unseen has created what we see, earth and humanity. All right, so from the spiritual realm, the old, part one, as we know it, on earth and humans, took place. He introduced part two, grace, all right? There's a part three, ascending into eternal life. And that's where I'm going to teach, ascend and descend. And then there's part four of working out the will and plan and purpose of God in infinity, eternity. And there could be from four to ten more levels of accomplishing God's will and plan. Okay, so much for that for three minutes. Here's my first point. Old and new. What's old? The Old Testament. What's new? The New Covenant, the New Testament. Well, what are we to do with the old? It tells us right here in Hebrews 8.13, in that he saith, the, a new covenant he will make the first old. Now that which is decaying and waxing old is ready to vanish away. Away, gone, away, past, away, gone, waxing old. The first. And that's where Christianity gets in problem with mixture. Gnosticism, Christianity... Uh, uh, heretic cult, Gnostic Christianity heretic cult by mixture, keeping the old and not letting the old, what is the old to do? Decay, wax old, ready to vanish away, gone behind the past, get into the new covenant and the last six letters of Paul. He had it right. He was personally taught by the Lord for two years in the Arabian desert, returned to Damascus and presented God's will part two. Now, today, the new part two is better with better promises. Am I saying it clear enough? There is a part one old and we're living in part two new. And then there's part three, the ascending. All right, so now let's read about that. After, well, we're doing good. 
We've got eight minutes to go. We're counting down on my timer. Turn to Ephesians, and in Ephesians, the uh, third chapter, fourth chapter, eighth verse, Ephesians 4, 8, all right, after uh, reading the first eight is one same unity harmony. That's what the Spirit is trying to explain in the Word. One same unity harmony in a spiritual inheritance where heirs were joint heirs with Christ. Now in eight, wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, El Yan, El Yan means highest, on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. Now we read ascended for the first time. Here comes ascended for true witness. Truth is found, twos, threes, and fours. Now that he ascended, ka-ching, true witness, he ascended, what is it but that he also descended, okay, and I wrote down here, out of his world or realm, the spiritual realm, above his world, his realm, world and realm go together. I read verse 10 again, but that he descended, he that descended is the same also that ascended up far above heavens that he might fill all things. And then I put in parenthesis, filled full God's plan, part one, part two, and through 10. Now, let me back up to nine. I got my true witness on ascend. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended out of his spiritual kingdom? And that's what he's telling Pontius Pilate, that he is a king and he came out of his spiritual kingdom, heavenly above, into our world or realm, down, and and there's a, there's a whole phony baloney teaching that he went down to hell and preached in hell. Ah, uh, somebody's stretching the truth there. When he descends, he descends into the valleys where humans are at, living dead ones, and there's mountains and valleys. So he descended into or down into the valleys. I don't, personally, I don't think he descended under the earth. You got to go back to the Old Testament and build a whole doctrine out of there. Nothing about him descending under the earth in the New Testament. That's my point. All right, I read on. Uh, he came out of his world or realm spiritual into, here it is, into the lower parts, it says in King James, and I wrote valleys over parts. He descended into the lower valleys where living humans were at, living dead ones with a spirit and a soul, but not born of his spirit. That's what it's all about now. All humanity. It's no longer Jew first and then Gentile. It's all humanity. Are you born of the Spirit? Okay, we're all equal. We're all humans. We must be born of the Spirit, and that's the most important thing. Spirit and faith now. Grace, mercy, and peace. It's no longer in law, rituals, feasts, or traditions, especially if they're Jewish myths or practices. Jew is a religion. Israelites love the Lord. All Israel, the remnant, will be saved. Not Orthodox Judaism or Zionism will be saved. They'll be among those in the next war where two-thirds of the population of Israel dies in the next world war over there, and he steps in to save the remnant. He will not let Israel be extinguished. He promised that. All right, so much for that little gold nugget. How are we doing? Four minutes to go. We're counting down. Okay. Into the lower valleys of the earth. Okay. World realm, human realm. He came out of spiritual realm into human realm. All right. And he came at the end of the first, the old. And he presented part two, the second, the new. And then he ascended into part three, where we are to go to yet in the future. My point is there is the 
thinking, planning, the eternal purpose of God. Then there's the creation of earth and humanity. Then that is part one. Then there is the Old Testament, part one. Then there is the new, the now, today, new covenant, New Testament, part two. Then there is part three, ascending into our inheritance, eternal life, a heavenly new Jerusalem is the mother of us all, the scripture says. And God is not mother. God is above mother. God is spirit. There is father and mother in titles, and God chose the strength, the father. When you talk about supreme being God creator in his purest form, if you're going to use Greek, a strength word, a strong word, Greek, masculine male father, do not call supreme being mother, queen, or princess, or feminine, or the weaker. He is this almighty stronger. So you call him father title, not mother title. There's a new movement out there taking Galatians and mother of us all. Oh, God is mother. God is female. The whole, and then there was a redheaded witch on YouTube and Facebook saying the Holy Spirit's female, and she's as witch as you can get, female false prophet. All right, I read on, and I'm making my point with two minutes to go. Read Ephesians 4th chapter 8, 9, and 10. Ascend, ascend, descend, ascend. So right there, we had, uh, was there a second descend? I thought there was. I don't see it. But I for sure have three ascends, major doctrine. Three verses, three ascends, okay? But he who descended ascends, okay? Takes captivity captive. Who is captive? Those that are have no way of... See, uh, animal blood sacrifices didn't take away the sin barrier or the sin wall, take it down forever, once for all, forever. The animal blood sackers were made year after year after year, reminding them of their sins and didn't animal blood didn't take it away. Now the precious human shed blood, once for all, forever, takes down the sin barrier. Now we can enter in access by one spirit unto the Father. The sin barrier is down. The separating wall is down. Whether physical or spiritual, the wall is down. Okay? And we can pray and pray looking above and we can come before the throne of grace to find help in the time of need access by one spirit in prayer unto the father because the sin barrier is taken down so now he's freed us we were in uh, fear of our sins our and death and captivity he's freed us he's taken captivity captive it's his now, belongs to the Lord. The Lord is the only righteous judge. He died, gave human blood once for all forever, no more blood sacrifices of any kind, animal or human. Work with God. It's all about being born of the Spirit. Nicodemus, you need to be born of the Spirit to see or to enter the kingdom of God. And flesh and blood will not inherit or enter into the heavenly kingdom. Over Only the born spiritual man heart, mind, spirit, soul, clean conscience, holiness, godliness, all right, memory, emotion, and will, and praise to God, little stick man with two hands raised, no more feasts, festivals, anything done with hands, communion, baptism, anything you got to take your hand to do something with your hands doesn't work, all right, he ascended, and I'm going to end, he descended, presented, dealt with part one, presented part two, and ascended our hope and calling, part three, and there is part four through ten to complete for the Lord after we get to heaven or glory or the spiritual realm or the above realm or world. Colossians, the third chapter, seek those things which are above, true witness twice, above, above, life, life, appearing, appearing, forth shining, forth shining, with him in glory, beholding his glory in eternal life. Love you, B period, Eugene Bear. Bye.